How is everything? Good morning. Thanks for coming. First, thank you very much, my oh. son. Uh, I want to tell a uh, good morning this morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. For a long time, I've not been talking in the radio, in the TV, anywhere. Yeah. I just sit it down on my corner. <laughs> you just in your left corner. I just in my left corner, I sit it down. Okay. I know mommy never can in small, but I want to talk to you for that. That thing where Gian told you that you you can play checker, you can you can very play checker. <laughs> of course. You can play checker. Oh, yeah. I can be you in checker. I can be you in Lulu, because it's my office now. Oh, oh, oh my! Looking there, sometimes when the papa used to come from where you used to try so much checker. <laughs> yeah, we can play checker here, yeah, but I can play checker sometimes. Wow. Yeah. So the first thing I want you to do for me, Oma, and for all, now now we get plenty of people in America, all over the world, they're looking at you now, they're listening to you. Wow. Tell all about yourself, small. Mm -hmm. We just used to get, they say do, they say do. Some kind of funny thing happened here, they feel they went junk here. When I asked Jion, I said, your pal from Tucson, he said, yeah, where your mom from? Then he was some kind of way, then I know he said, jab some, then I said, they eat a sin he said, hmm, man, that, that kind of question, that hard question. So tell all so small about yourself. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where part of Grand Gila you coming from? Just do a small thing about yourself. Well, thank you. I'm from Jansson. My husband from Tucson. Okay. So what kind of family you belong to? I know you married a do, but yeah. you come from some kind of family. What kind of family? Oh, my family name is Gankong. They call it Gankong. Okay. Yeah. So you never say gang on door. <laughs> no, never say bon door. Bon it's do. my father's name, yeah. bon. Oh, okay, that it be there. Yeah. Never say be to. Yeah. So normal, regularly you are never say bon. Yeah. But when you marry to now, you begin never say bon to. Yeah. And a lot of people know what you do. You say never say be to, never say be to. Oh, no, no, that's okay. my father's name. The other question I can mean, ask you, and I know you can remember, you stay strong, you're not too old. Mm hmm. And I know you will think where Baba you will find some more answer for all. They may want to call Samuel do yeah. How you gotta know him? How you came to know him before you get even be going away? Tell all that story one year is more. Wow. Well, my late husband Samuel Kayando. He met me, I met him in the bar. BDC. In BDC, nineteen seventy one. Yeah. Hmm. You married in a BTC barrel. Yeah. You are living with somebody in the barrel, you? Or what do you want? What you no, when I come from the interior, my, my sister sent for me. I went visit her. Aha, uh -huh. he met me there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Your sister called you and you go and see her. You know, love. Yeah. Okay, she I see. So, okay. Yeah. 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 She didn't think so at the beginning. Yeah, you're not thinking so. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you and him get together. So, the time you want to get up, uh -huh. you were ever thinking that they men will be president? No. What happened is, he be said, first of all, when he met me there, he proposed to me that he want, he want me, elect me. Okay? So, I told him that I don't want Noko. I don't want him. Oh, I like that. So you're the so-called Noko? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> so I said... The old man said, don't it Yeah. So I said, I don't want to marry him. I don't want Noko. I will go buy in the interior. So he started begging me. I said, no. So I went by in the country. Then he sent him mother behind me. In Jansson. From Tucson to Jansson. Then the only was there for one week. She there for your baby? Yeah. <laughs> that girl. So I agree. That how you came for me. Okay. In Jansson. The Nogo way now one and Nogo came for you. Nogo 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 stay. Uh, Nogo say no. That one will not go. I will go Jansson for her. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we came now. We were in the barrel. Okay. Well, I bought my first job. 1973. Mm -hmm. Then you go see my, my father. 
He left me here ago, see my That one and that mommy? No. Okay. No, not mommy. Okay. Mommy's sister, okay. she next to. Okay. Then he go see my, he go see my father. So he talk to my father, he pay my daughter, and oh. Okay. To my father, before he came back. Wow. Yeah. Then you were your husband. Then when I, I bought mommy now, then he sent for my father again. Okay. Then my father came. Pay my yeah, do all the direct things. Yeah. So all that time uh, before he was president, before he came to be president, you was living in a barrack. Mm -hmm. All that time. Uh, yes. Okay. Now I remember mm -hmm. I was coming up, but they knew here was too much. Mm -hmm. So people say, oh, the time the cool happened when do become president, they say do was selling coal in the market. Some people say that time she go draw water. Some people say that time she go visit her parents and grandkids there. When they pull the men then and they send so for her, they say, oh, can you, you your husband has so your um, president now. The time that day when the coup happened, the, your husband came in the chair and you were president. What place you were in? Tell all that we hear it today because like, they, they say we're not here too much. Thank you, my son. You know, Liberian people, they like lying business. <laughs> I've not used to set in a market before. You were not selling coal? No! Oh? No! You know, I've never said any coal, I've never said anything in a market before. Yeah? Because they feel now that a native woman now, then they put two and two together that I said in market. But I've never said before. And my husband is a gentleman. He can't leave me set to Oh, the woman I'm bossing by Mexico. He said a gentleman. If he said to go see my family say in a country that war, he don't want to leave me. Yeah. So what place you were here that day? Well, I was in a house that day. That evening he called me. He said, Nancy. I going somewhere. About six o'clock that day. He said, I going somewhere. Tell the twenty dollars here. The play I go with if you don't come by, anything happen to me, take my children, mommy and junior to Swedru. Hmm. Yeah. Carry them to Grand Jelly. So I said, Why you going? He said, Well, I come by, I will tell you. So I said, tell me. He said, no. That $20 US or that Labyrinth? $20 US. Okay. That uh, no Labyrinth dollar yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So, but that day, they friend them, Kuwankpa then. You know, he and Kuwankpa, they are very, very, very close. He said, when well, I quote, when Samuel not there, when Kuwankpa come, he can eat and leave. Mm. They are very close. Mm. So all, all of them, they used to come. Plenty of friends that I know, some of them, they mm. used to come to him, they used to come to him, they used to come to him that, that evening. So I'll be here, where you going, where you going? He said, I said, I will come back. I called Pam Brother Sue that day. Hmm. You still remember that soup? Yes, he refused to eat. I said, but then you don't eat anything you fool here. He gave it to your friend then. He eat. Why you ate that day? I buy him plantain chip. Ten cents. So I said, Why you going? He don't tell me why you going. So I knew they were going to do something else on the side. So round about three o'clock, from three to four, then he sent one of my cousins to tell me that he the president. That, that six o'clock in the evening, they, they move on to the hall, they go. Then at the next day now, around three to four now, they send somebody. Six o'clock, he tell me, but he, he left to the, he left the house, number two. What, in the net? Yeah. Okay. That, but at six o'clock, he, he tell you. He tell me. Hmm. But he not tell me that he went to overthrow. Yeah. He told me that he went to so, he went somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then he gave me $20. The place he go in, when he not come by, as you take your children to Grand Jere. Mm -hmm. uh, so then you say, you call now, you say, the president. Yes. A lot of time, when they can't tell you, say, your husband is president. Mm -hmm. In the first place, you will know what they call president, Bene. You will know that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was surprised now. I was dreaming. 
I said, ah. You, you start dreaming now? Yeah. I was dreaming. I don't know what to tell you in the house. I don't know what you like. I don't know what you eat. Oh. Yeah. Then what do you do now? They cousin, they carry there or what? No. After the day blow now, I don't go in there. Before the day blow, I said, the soya follow in my house. You were scared? Oh? I was scared. I was scared for your life. I was scared for all of all life, my children, mommy and John. All of all. I don't even know why. Eh? Oh, while I live and while I die, I don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Then when you come home now for you to see? Where I went there, start so you don't carry me in the bank. Oh. I stay walking you. <laughs> oh, yeah. The next thing I'm to go in the market, so you got to carry you. Oh, of course. That's so you carry me. That we want to buy all oh, the soya down there. They carry me in the market. Can't see the market people are dancing there and that. I buy my market. If you say they don't want for me to pay the money, sir, they give it to me free. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then you call it a food now, you carry it to him. I carry it to him. Them, the people then follow to the house, say, ah, he be cool, sir. Everybody can call for you. They want you to tell nothing now. No, my country woman, now. Nah. Different, different woman, sir. They will get down, oh. And I want to cram people. Then when you call now, you carry the food. I now. carry the food to him. Mm -hmm. I want to know what thing happened when he saw you, he saw the food, you too, you see him. What thing happened there? You're laughing or you were still asking, but what thing what I happened? Now, I don't even get more to open to ask him why he must do that, why he not do that. The soya behind him, that time they were in the garden. They don't even go to the hostel here in the, in the bee house, in the mansion. They were behind the garden. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you carry food in here. He not eat, oh. oh. He say he not have appetite. He not eat. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But you are still worried small, or? He not small. Tell it, tell it you, you are happy small now. I not happy, oh. Oh? I not happy, love be friend. I not happy. I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then later on, you are moving in the mansion. So, yeah. you are in a mansion now, you are living now. Yes, exactly no, so. So, what time you, but I hear that you are living in a certain town. Yeah, after a few weeks, mm -hmm. Then it sent me to Matale. Mm -hmm. So the charter, he is a GSA director. Yeah, yeah. Charter, he is a GSA director that time. So he is the one who furnished the, all the places from C25 to C30. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are living in Matale now? I was living in Matale. So that I was there and born my, my son, Vani. So the papa used to come from where he come Matale? Yeah. Okay. So he stay in the ma he stay in the mansion. He can come visit me to Matale. Mm -hmm. My I can go visit him to the mansion. Okay. So that water now, mm -hmm. you all the all the fear, the scary, scary thing, and that water you move on in you now. Then you come to yourself now. You say, Oh, well, well, I know that. Na. Okay. Well, well, in that the time you know now that, that you find it now. Of course. At the time I was there now, before I, I could come to myself. Mm. Mm. Okay. Then later on you move in the mansion. So yeah. what kind of husband or woman Samuel? What kind of one say what kind of husband? Mm. I know he was president. Yeah. But when men are men when he come home that husband. Yeah. He used to get fair with you. He used to talk to you. When Gion and Mami then do something, mm. he used to talk about, what kind of husband? You don't say oh, the way that man was president, oh man. You are brave to talk to him sometimes when you do something, you can get there. Of course. When you get there, what do you can do? Tell me, let's talk. Let's talk about typical husband and wife. Well, I can get there with him because he's jealous, my son, jealous. Yeah, my son, jealous. So I can make play with him. I talk to him like you talk to your husband. And what did he can say? Uh, we can we can fire all our be friends. Mm. Yo, you so the member of president you know for him. Of course. But so now he can be joking and say, you know our president will <laughs> never start that kind of thing. You you can tell you that one. Yeah. <laughs> well I may play with him, he say now I may play again walk down on the safe floor. So I so I leave him. You call for jealousy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, so, sometimes when he sometimes when he fail with you like that, eh? Uh, what do you can do that he can calm down? He can he can say or right, let's see. When he fell with me, mm. uh, then I'll start speaking for a few times. Hey, hey, 
you know when you run, then you can, you know, fasten behind me and thing to forget it. You can be petting you now. Petting me. Okay. Uh -huh. and because I told him, I said, you press me for Liberia, but now you're not press me for Nesedo. So. That your president thing there, that one answer. Oh, when oh. you come home here, you, 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 then say what's more? You saw me do. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes when sometimes he used to get fed too because Jion stay one time, one boy did something I think to him, they were cheering, then he did a force there. He said then mommy said, Yeah, let that juking then he said power fell in a power being that did that. But he said that you used to talk for them. Jion Jion told the truth. Jion said our man when the baby want be up, the woman will come inside. The woman he, the, he used to get very quick on the children to beat them. When he beat them at that, what do you can do? No, he, he, he can make that ski, he can't be there. Okay. And when John went to school, John said, if one of his friends insulting, he find it. So he got fed when he come home now, when they go eat, that's that eating spoon. Yeah, that's four spoon. Four spoon. He take it, he put it in, he go back. <laughs> yeah. So when he, the woman then who take care of them, they go, they go suck the bed, they saw the spoon. And he carry, he carry, he carry a spoon to the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he meet the boy there. He say, "You uh, sorting my part yesterday. I will kill you today." So the boy start running. That how the teacher then they know, and the teacher then they they, they brought him to the house. Then they explain it to me. Okay. So I call you pa, I told you. So he park in from the mansion. That time was in Matale. So he park in from the mansion. Then he talked to him. He talked to them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Omen do you to speak in a dialect beside Kram? Samuel? Mm -hmm. uh, I never see speaking in a different dialect before before Kram. Beside Kram? Beside Kram and English. That all he speaking. Okay. The time you were fine, lady, the clothes you used to wear, you, mm -hmm. you used to sew a more you are having your tailor here to sew for you? Of course. Okay. You now used to bring your clothes from America, different place? Oh, no, no. I can't wear dress. <laughs> and the labas are not in America and not in Europe. So I got my tailor you used to sew my clothes in Liberia. Myself can go to side to shopping there. Okay. Ma oh, my mm -hmm. Let me ask you the other question. Because they, they see the same thing I ask Jenna about the people say you are selling coin in the market. You say people can laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, the house sometimes people can laugh. Yeah. That mansion there. Mm -hmm. You, you and you and uh, 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 Samuel were living there. Yeah. You were living there with mommy and Gianna. Yeah. But you know when we were so much more, we used to hear plenty of people. They say in the mansion, so now you can go to the other place. Somebody be crying, and they get on the ground in the mansion. They get water. You can party. You go to America. The way you were living in that mansion, <laughs> yeah, that mansion where you were living, in, Mama. Uh, you used to hear people crying, people scary. You're, how you are living in that mansion now? Because people can talk plenty. <laughs> you are yeah, in Wallace and I'm speaking Wallace and English too. <laughs> yeah, oh man, we are Wallace and English. People lie. I never see that one in the mansion again. Water, a nun, the swimming pool, the to to to, to make the house, to make the uh, where the mansion fine. Mm. You know what sweeping in front of the mansion? That all, oh, that all oh, I know about. But I the what play the pool. I don't know why are you talking about that one first time. Say, so yeah. people, people can be making people scared in the mansion all the time you are there. No, no, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's come to life after for a lady now. Yeah. How is life for you now, Mama? The way mm -hmm. you know that one we want to talk about the woman die going else and all of that one thing yeah. that one part be on. How is life now with you and the children? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you very much. Well, my husband is part almost 30 years now. Mm -hmm. And what I want to say here today, mm -hmm. Liberia government did not treat me good. Mm -hmm. yeah. They did not treat me good. They don't even know me. All the benefits what belong to me. They refuse to give it to me. I don't have no passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't have no justice in this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the cases are being win. My husband's houses. All the cases are being win in the court. Mm -hmm. 
Nothing got in my hand today, today. Look up for mama over there. So, no justice for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, a really sad to me. Mm -hmm. That would be friend. I'm not here to criticize I know. anybody. I know. Then I want to call you for that. Uh huh. Plus, we are the son. We are my son. Eh. Oh, man, before so, you go far off, mm -hmm. I forget to add our one. Eh. The time Omer Samuel was president, do you used to see because your husband you were left football you know that man you were president, mm -hmm. you used to move go on the football field, play football. You used to see Joe We are Salesa, all the football body. You used to see a lot of time they were born in, uh, I'm sorry, they be the president uh, Joe We are the president, but all the time they were football body. You used to see them in the mansion, the cantos uh, and pass Samuel. Yes. He, he can they, they, he used to sell for dancer all the time. He stayed down like chicken air because he left football. He stayed um, the place that we are now, that was chicken air. When you see that in that day, it will be happy, you know, to people divide money and things. Mm. When they say the time for them to people, Liberian loan start to play in different country, he can put them in a car and throw them to the field. In a car. Mm -hmm. He owns a car. He the one driving. As anybody, I all the Liberian who at that time. I'm talking about those small children in the eighty. Mm. Yeah. So they used to come to the hall, they used to that like, you you their man, they used to come there, you see them to you and then you say, Oh my children, you won't be that game. I even know said that I even know that said that my husband introduced me said to them. Mm. Yeah, on the safe floor. That also who also oh my, you are you fan or you barrel fan? A barrow. You barrow. Yeah. How you not be barrow? <laughs> <They Yeah>. bar <laughs> <They> bar <laughs> my husband barrow. That one be here. So so but the property they been I thought you all went to call you win the case now. Nah. Yes. I thought you sort of they get money, they gave they didn't you start getting some money, yeah? No. What money? <laughs> you mean, you mean eighteen million? Which hmm. one the money you yeah, talking the about? Yeah, eighteen million. Ah went to two years now. None of them call me. No government call me yet to say Nancy and so, 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 so. Nothing. So, Nothing at all. So, you so, know, I won a case in Commercial Co. Yes, Commercial Co. I won a case there. And they, they don't want to pay me. And I, 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 I sued them to the Equa Co. And we went to Nigeria. The, 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 the government sent their lawyer there, oh, we went to Nigeria, and I won the case there. That was what year? 2018. 2018. Send that time. No, but you won the commercial case 2015. Yeah. Yeah. 2015, I won the case in Comostock. Comostock, you see? So none of them uh, 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 called me to say, Ma, can I, how will I pay you there? How will I do there? Nothing. President, we are well, friendly with your husband, like you said, even though he was born for two, but say he become president, you not try to go see because I your son, oh man, you so try all you know. he not send for you, or you not try, you talk to the people then you say, Hey, okay, me, maybe my son not know me, thinking say I hear America, or boy, yeah, oh, you okay, me, let me go see my son, hey, my people, Gio, you know people, oh, you okay, me, you not, you not try to go see the president because that your son, I know, I know, you know. What happened when the court told, I mean, excuse me, when he told office, me and my colleague, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Blah. Yeah, Nettie. Yeah, and uh, 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 Mr. Dwokoli. We went there to tell him thank you, and we take picture before we left London. And he see you like the you and he talk some more secrets, eh? Oh yeah. Maybe some secret you want to tell about your talk some no, more. No, no, no. We not talk no secret. We not talk no secret. You can hide another side behind me. So minister, that was there. Oh man, sometimes mm -hmm. when you sit down, mm -hmm. you can feel bad that you form a fair lady, you are model for the whole country, eh? and nobody care for you. Mm -hmm. Nobody talking to you. They sometimes they having program. They can't call you there. Sometimes you can feel bad. Of course. I knew my being. I used to help people before. 
Then now and nobody know you and are you, you will not be bad. I feel it bad. But what we do? When the water wastes, you cannot take it back. Because my husband no longer living again. And the people who are helping, all of them, maybe they get their BB job, you know, everything so they forget about me. But nothing is for anyway, I nurse I nurse do. <laughs> and I will still be nurse do and tell the story. I will still be living and tell the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Shortly before I open the line, I will talk to mommy and, 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 your, and your other daughter there. I will just talk to oh, them. Oh, you not open the line here? Yeah? No, I'm opening your own. Oh, I'm opening. <laughs> I stay enjoying my mom talking. Then I will open the line. I'm opening the line. You uh, now we're talking about oh, visiting the president. Did and did. Oh, my own. Uh, you were mom for the whole country before. Mm -hmm. You were living with the president before you become president. You were your husband. You live together. Yeah. You were president. You live together. Mm -hmm. Nana. What what kind of advice you want to give to any fair lady or the people who are not having no power before nothing, but now now they get power because that you you not taste power before so you know it. Mm -hmm. What you want to tell them? Everybody who power to you and you know that you they feel they in so you there some of our brother then they and they come in and they do small glang glang there. People say mm -hmm. well I'm good thing there. What you want to say to that one and what you want to all the all that be right. so that woman can't get up, woman not be making proud with each other and all they can do. What do you want to tell her? Well, what you saying here yeah, that true. Me, I, I was a politician before, but now, for my age now, I'm not a politician. Mm -hmm. So, what I want to say that as a mother, me, I want peace. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I want peace. I want I bad is too in clan jere. Anyway, everybody say it's not right. So and by right it's not supposed to be like that. Yeah. So the people talk already and the government say and they say they will see about it. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So I don't have a problem with that. So you you call on the people not to be doing nothing. So we the labor people now. Why you want to tell her about the plow? Because, oh man, the way we hate each other in the country here, yeah, it's not easy. Oh. They, we hate each other here, yeah, we, it's not easy. Every day, plow, oh, you, 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 you. Talk to all that, as our mother, talk to all of us. Oh, the Liberian, what I want to say to them, the plow is now good. The plow is now good. And when the people come in the country, then everybody can enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody, but the confusion there, mm -hmm. then no flower. All right, before we go to mommy, let me tell you as mm -hmm. I say, mm -hmm. I don't have no justice in this country. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I don't have no that one is helping you to your heart. Talk it, <laughs> <laughs> talk it. Oh, I don't have no justice. All oh, my cases are win. None of that, nothing got in my hand. I'll be, I be running behind the church and thing. Nothing they can do. Yeah. Amen. Nothing they can do. So all your property in town is jail leather. Jail leather. And I want uh, my money. They they what in a bank? What the government took? I wanted to rebury my husband because President Samuel Kanyando, he the first native president in this country. And I supposed to rebury him when the government not able to, I can't do it next to the family can't do it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you won't rebury your husband? I won't rebury my husband. Hey, you know the way you rebury your husband is looking good. Exactly. Because when the time, the double ratio time comes, no, no place for me to go. Mm -hmm. I will just be in the house crying all day. You can still be crying? Of course. Oh my, why you yeah. remember about your husband most? Only just tell her one thing that when you temple, you can always want to see your Why you remember about Omen Samuel? Hmm, that, yeah, what? That, something that it, it, it was good to you, always want to see you. You can remember it, it can still be in your mind, you can still see it. What thing? Well, my husband, he really loved me. Okay. You hear me? My husband loved me a lot. 
In somewhere, nobody can talk about my party. If you say a girlfriend, that's it. When you love today, I don't want you. Oh, man, you buy your know all that thing, and if I pay you, and if I pay you to go do a thing, and then stay, you go follow me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I pay hard a thing for you, oh, man, how you know now? <laughs> when you go, they say, I know if a friend and girlfriend, then, when they call, they say, do you wipe down, no pose, you dance, you die, you will, you, you will lead that person straight. So you play with a nurse, Bene? Yes. You are in an inside again? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that remember a lady woman? So my husband, he locked me. And I went to get him in step, Barry. OK, man. I went to get him in step, Barry. And by right, what am I supposed to do it? And the attention is not there. But if they gave my money, I was there. The family would do it to rebury him. But they stack everything on, 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 on me. I, I will be happy. 30 years now, the man gone. He never reburied yet. Yeah? Look at the house, he, 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 our house we been in, in the country. Look at the tree grow inside there now. In, in Zwejo? In Grand Jira, in Tucson. Yeah? You, you still want to finish that hole, eh? Of course! Of course. Huh. Okay, the money we're talking about. I'm not begging for government to give me money, but that you all swear. Hmm. He pay all the eleven in there. Why he can't pay? The why they can't pay me? Oh my! Every day people say, "Oh, let walk and go, can." Suppose they walk and go, Monaco. Walk and go, Monaco. What do you want? Well, anything that majority what they want, that they want, I want because I'm smaller. All right, <laughs> former first lady Nancy ba oh my, is it ba Banyan? Bon, bon B. Oh, oh, oh Bondo. Yeah. Nancy Bondo is our guest. I mean, she's been accompanied by two of her children. You know, those days we usually have Mami Do, Gion Do, Mami Do. Mami Do is right here. I will take five minutes to talk to Mami and Kati. Yeah. All right, that's well, the last one. Oh, that your baby there. Yeah. That, that mama baby there. <laughs> so we'll talk to mommy and Kati, then we can open the telephone line. Mommy, how you doing? What's your English name? I, I, I'm Veronica. sorry. Veronica. Come again? Veronica. Veronica. Yeah, right. Veronica. It's, it's good to have you. I can say Veronica in Liberia. Oh, Veronica. Yeah. What's your okay. crown name? You're supposed to get something like crown name. Where your crown name? Siemu. Siemu. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't go. Okay, don't go. Kati, what's about you? How, how you doing? What's your crown name too? I guess you. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is Gade. Gade. Kade. Kade. What do you mean? What has she do? Oh, what has she Oh, my, don't help her. Let her talk it. <laughs> what do you want me to do now? I know, mama, baby. <laughs> Mommy, how, how you doing? How's life now? Oh, life is good. I'm doing good, thank God. Yeah. You're in country with mom? Yeah, so. Um, um, I came here just before the coronavirus hit. So, um, I'm here, I'm stationary. But yeah. you're, you're actually based in the States? No, I'm based in the UK. Oh, in the UK? Yeah, I'm based in the UK. But I try to come back every every year. Okay. So this was my yearly, my annual visit. And then I met Corona here. You're the second child, right? Actually, I'm the first. So I'm like, uh, my parents, they had quite a few kids before I was born. And they weren't fortunate. Every time they would have the kid, they would die as a toddler. So that's the reason they named me Don't Go. Like, you're not going, you're oh. staying. So that's what Siemu, maybe my pronunciation is not great, but it means don't go. Oh. Now, how you say Mama? Yeah, Siemu. Siemu, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Coming up as a child, mm -hmm. when did you realize you are the daughter of a president? You know, it was, it was funny because I really have really good memory. I remember even when I was crawling. I remember the barracks very, very well. Um, Uncle Tom, well, Kuyamba, how I used to call him. I remember him very, very well. well you used to call uh, Kuyamba Uncle Tom? Yeah, I remember okay. him very, very well. I remember him particularly on this day. Of course, we didn't have any bathrooms, so we all used to go and do number two and number one on the beach. And so this um, soldier arrested me. I, I think I was like two. Two years old. Yeah, and I was with my, my older my older Ophelia. Ophelia, do I hi? She's in Holland. I was with my sister, and so they arrested her to take her to jail for allowing me to go and do a number two on the beach. And then I ran to him, Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom. And I jai, he he um, he stopped them. He told me they shouldn't take us to jail, and he sent us home. But I, I, yeah, he always used to be in the other house. So um, I remember going to the village, going to Jason. I remember crawling there. I remember having a really nice time. And I remember all the soldiers, so being surrounded by soldiers, it wasn't anything new. But the time I really remember, because I used to ask my pa, you president? 
well, your job? He used to say, no, I'm a farmer. So, you know, back home, even my mom said she used to tell me she was 18 years old. Uh, so obviously, you know, you don't really uh, uh, challenge what your parents so, do. So, yeah. Sometimes when you go into school, the soldiers take you to school. Why are you behind me? Why are so your people behind me like this? No kind of thing like that. 87. What's the best memory mm -hmm. of your dad? What's your best mm -hmm. memory oh, of your dad? Okay, um, my, my best, best memory of my dad would be um, football. I, if you ask him any other day, because he was such a disciplinarian, everything was no, he no, was no. A disciplinarian. Oh my goodness, yes. He wouldn't give you money until Christmas. He wouldn't if it's your birthday and if you've done well. Everything was based on your grades. He wouldn't give you money. But I got my first bank book when um Sally and Opon were there because he was so happy. That's when he went and gave me my first bank book. So I knew I just knew it right away. What kind of father was he? You know, did he come home to play with you? Did he do the regular things father would do? You know, the thing is, I always realized that he treated me as an adult. Although I was a child, you know, when he took over, we weren't even in kindergarten yet. We were like two, three. So, despite what people say that we had jobs in his man in in the government, we didn't work. We're, we're toddlers. So, um, <laughs> so he was such. He would talk to me as an adult. He would ask me, "What do you want to do? Is everything okay?" If, if like just said when he and my mom would argue and I would stand up and argue with him back and he would just sit there and listen you, you did that oh yeah oh, yeah wow I would argue back let's let's go to mama baby <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder if you can remember anything because I mean you I think you were young old, but yeah, let's I was really young I was only three years old when the war came so I remember the least um and uh, I remember the least, so that's why it's so important for me to be home as often as possible. So you live in the UK too? No, I'm based in the United States, but I'm here every six months. You know, I, I want to be near my mom as much as possible. Okay. Um, I also have projects that... I also have projects uh, that I, I, I work on here. Um, I came this trip initially in November and it was uh, an international company wanted to open a, a branch, uh, a media branch here and they wanted me to uh, acquire journalists for them. So that was really exciting for me because that's something I'm really passionate about, um, opening the job market here in Liberia and, and helping people get jobs. If I will come and talk about that, but because of the importance of this show, mm -hmm. I have gotten the authorization from my boss mm -hmm. that I should extend the show. So instead oh, wow. of the show ending 10 o'clock, we we'll end the show 10.30. I okay. beg you, please okay. give me 10 more minutes of your time. Okay. It, it yeah. seems as though it's too interesting. <laughs> yeah, so what is the project all about, Kelly? Yeah, so I was acquired by an Ivorian company, um, and they're also based in Cape Verde and Cameroon, and they wanted to extend an office to Liberia. And it's a media company, but it's no politics. It's just, like, entertainment. And I'm like, you know, Liberia is really politics-focused, but that's not my area. And so they're like, you know, no worries. They wanted to focus on entertainment, and they wanted me to open an office here. So um, I, I went to Ivory Coast and I got the authorization and I was opening the office here and acquiring the journalists, uh, paid full salary journalists, and then Corona happened. So when Corona happened, I had to cease the project indefinitely. Um, but I'm still hopeful. I mean, we're regular people. So just like the Corona affect everyone in the world, of course it affected us as well um and so i'm still hopeful to you know always work with uh organizations that want to bring jobs in the job market here in liberia and and help boost the economy that's something i'm really passionate about unfortunately for you you were very young by the time you bop your eye the, you know the wall came so exactly your your memory is, is my memory of my father is is you know after a certain while you don't know if it's your own memory or if it's just stories and that's unfortunate by it you know I, I have pictures of my father and myself my mother told me i was born in germany um and you know, I've seen the news footage of me arriving in the airport and my dad telling the press, my name is Democrat. That's another name that they call me. Um, and also when I was, like I said, I was only three, but I, I feel like I have vivid memories of the mansion. Like there was a room with um, 
a lot of merit surrounding it. I remember walking for a biscuit. <laughs> so like you know just small memories but I was only three years old and you know we I had to grow up in exile like most Liberians unfortunately yes so much was told of Mami Do and Jiyan Do because they, they, they were with the, with the old man uh -huh. uh, you know I, I know you, you never had any slighted thought of a revolution and I think would have gone the, the, the way they went but Back to daddy's memory, you know, mm -hmm. when when you started to grow up in, mm -hmm. in, in, in the home, you know, mm -hmm. I, I will not ask you about the home, because you, mm -hmm. you praise her too much because she's yeah. <laughs> No, actually, my what, mom what is... Kind, what kind of name did, did your dad call you? Obviously, every time. Mama. Okay. He said mama. Unless he's he's really mad with me, then he called me mommy. But he rarely ever says mommy. It was mama or he would whistle. Okay. Yeah. Mama. Yeah, mama. When you say that, it happened. Yeah. He made him vena, then he turned your rear side. Mommy, what are you doing? You know, he used to talk very aggressive and um, very harsh. Yeah. So most of the time, if when we misbehave, he can just give you a look, and you just you just shrivel back in your own shell. You did, know. Did he ever beat you? Ah, uh, just once. Uh, well, twice with the Samuel incident. But Samuel said it was me. It was it wasn't my idea. It was his idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clarify that, because it was his friend, Rufus Kennedy. It wasn't my friend. I was just tagging along, and I tried to be, actually, then I tried to be the peacemaker. So, okay. yeah, so there you go, Sam. Um, the only other time, I think he said that uh, he was in Tucson, and he came back. You know, he used to go to Tucson all the time. It's like whenever, you know, he's happy, he goes to Tucson. Whenever he's really sad to have problems with my mother, he goes to Tucson. So Tucson was his happy place. But I remember one summer... Unfortunately, they didn't speak crime to us, which I didn't understand because they spoke crime amongst themselves, but they spoke English to us, even though it was, you know, kind of English. But I remember one summer he told us that um, uh, if we didn't learn crime, he would return us back from England and uh, we will stay in the village. So all our securities and them start teaching us crime, but what we thought was crime. So we went to him. He said, okay, you have to learn. I think give us a month, a deadline. So the deadline came, I think it was right after his birthday. And so we went to him. He said, okay, then, Papa, we can, we can speak crime. And not be known to us, our Gio, our security now are teaching us. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we end up going, we spend in the summer in Tucson for the whole summer to learn Kran. But uh, yeah, and but yet, they still spoke English to us, even in the village, which is so annoying. Yet you didn't learn it. We still didn't learn it. All the way you went to. <laughs> yeah. Kale, can you speak Kran? Small? Small, small. You can try more than mommy and, and Samuel? No, I, I, pepe, pepe. I can try small. No. Yeah, pepe. Pepe, yeah. yeah. Mm. You, which one of you can speak better? Crime? She can understand it I more. I can understand the most. So I she speaks the better. She what about Gino? Gino should speak crime. Gino, what, what, man? In crime. He what, what? In crime. Only <laughs> in crime. Only in crime. Only in crime, yeah. I like that. Oma, mm -hmm. let me come back to the Oma again. Mm -hmm. The whole interview about, is about Mama today. Yes. So, they are, they are not here for Mama now. Mm -hmm. Oma, mm -hmm. what do you want to say to your son, George, we are the money? Oh. I listen to all the problems you're facing, but... You know what? As I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. I have the hope that when you move on here today, the president will send somebody to come call you. You know, so now when you be me, you can hear everything. So now you can see everything. What do you want to tell your son, George, we are the money? Thank you, my son. The meeting where I want to see him, I talk to him. I want for you to Give my benefit. Mm -hmm. I, I accept the Liberian government, Liberian people. And I don't have no passion. Mm -hmm. No, if you said my husband, pension, pension, what they gave me, $1,000. Well, I pay my security, I pay my coat, I pay my driver, nothing really except to buy gas. So I want for you to give my benefit. And are you man? I expect you that you're going to send me for me. Send for me one day, you know, to talk to me like you talk to your man and I talk to you like a son. So I need my benefit. Uh -huh. And my money, my husband money in the account, while the government told him, please, him, please help her to get it. 
He paying all the Lebanese people. Why he can't pay me? Why he can't get my money? So I want for him to get my money and rebury my husband. Yeah. Hmm. Like, can I add? Yeah, catch your Yeah, go ahead, man. So. Yeah, oh my God. I, 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 come here. So I want. I know. Even though now nah, now nah, I never do, I know her car. Let me tell you. You know the car. No. Huh? Her own car. Sir, I see him when he took off a two week. I went to see him with my colleague there. We take picture and all. I it? left from there. I thought few times he went to send for me, but up there now I try try to see him. Yeah. So he must please get my balance. What belong to me? Mommy you wanted to come in? Yeah, I did. Um, I just really wanted to elaborate in, in terms of what my mother did. You know, because I was here for most of the court cases. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of my father's pension, actually it was, it was former President Charles Taylor who called my mother and told her about her benefits. I think you won't believe it, but it was true. Charles Taylor did that? Yes, yes, yes yeah. You know, uh, I mean, all the, yeah, all the atrocities that happened, you know, um, but he came to her, he said, you know, yes, I know I brought war, I did this, I, I know I, I have responsibility in what happening today, but I would be remiss not to afford you your benefits as a former first lady. You know, you are entitled to your husband's pension, you're entitled to your pension. And also he started the paperwork, right? And mm -hmm. also with my, uh, my father has some account, uh, his agriculture account in ITC. So he even hired, he even told us uh, yeah, Bromskin, Bromskin, the late Bromskin, to be my mother's lawyer to go and get the money. So we went to ITC, my mom went to ITC. They told her, they said, oh, you know, we have a loan. He has a loan with us. My, my father had a loan with ITC to, to build his, 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 the house in Tucson. It was based on a loan, a loan payment. So because he didn't complete the loan payment, so they were going to take the, the money and then whatever remaining, because it was joint to, you know, he was an agriculturalist. He had 100 acres you know, with, with our land, you know, in, in, in the village, in the terrain, most people are entitled based on your lineage, you know, each family set half the set of land. So it's nothing you have to buy. It's just yours by being born into that village. And, uh, on that land, it was, it was very prosperous land being filled with minerals. Cause I remember when we come, went to Tucson, his, from his, he would show his gold mine, his gold from that. So that, all that accounts was linked to the, those businesses. So once they pay off the loan from his house, they, told my mom that uh, there, there was a, a significant balance and for her to go get it. And then what happened after you, you try to go get it? Something happened. Where? To the ITC bank. Oh, no, no. They say that mm -hmm. my husband I account there for true. Mm -hmm. But he cleared that money mm -hmm. and, 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 and buried okay. house in Tucson. So some my husband passed, they tell the money now and pay theirself. Mm -hmm. That's what they told me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so, so I tell you, you think your thing is correct? Mm -hmm. I can pay husband pass a living. Why? You're not coming to me. To even know what the balance is. Yeah. And then we can go ahead and do so it. Look at the say, wait, well, let, let me go, we'll come back. Can I say something? Down, I will left it. Mm -hmm. When well, I went, well, I went now, the, the, the yo-yo uh, September 18 now coming now. Mm -hmm. They're coming now. Yeah. I run away. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Cote d'Ivoire. I, I know Kade will come in, Oma, mm -hmm. but the time Charter was president, hmm? mm -hmm. he used to come to you, he used to talk, oh, yeah. or he used to send for you, Oma, the time Charter was president. Ah, hey. Where Charter brought war in this country, a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. But, I never do, well, Charter sent me invitation to come to La Brasse, and it. Oh, he used to send you invitation? Of course. I was in Guinea. So he sent me invitation to come to La Brasse. And Charter welcomed me mm -hmm. the way I was in the mansion before. So surprised. That would be a friend. Charter came, he do everything ugly in this country here. But when he he said that, Mrs. Doe, I will, I will, I will help you. Whatsoever, what belong to you, you will get it. Yeah. What, he put me in the water Africa. He said, oh, you are all security there. Send a letter to the director, all will sign with you. 
all your husband property. Why you know? You must correct it. Anywhere you read there, you must let me know. That why you told me. That will be different. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's why I told you. Yes. Yep. And also, he gave me two cars with a document. Still gave you two cars? Yes. New cars? New, new blank car. On the September 18, he came here, I carried the car and said to Cote d'Ivoire. Hmm. He said he might not be walking. Yeah. He gave me new, new blank car. Good, good cars. Like I said, did. Yeah. Wow. He used to give my Lauren everything. He used to give you Lauren? Of course. And he even told her about all her benefits that she was entitled to. So um, ju I just started the child sale thing just to tell you. He was the one that told us about it. And that's how the process started. You understand? So when we continue the process, um, I mean, honestly, I used to come to court here. And it wasn't this government. It was the previous government, uh, Madame Sirleaf. Yeah. We had to, it took us five years to prove to the Liberian government that my father was indeed president. I'm not kidding. You, you, you say, you say what? <laughs> I know it's hard to believe. You had to prove that. We had to prove. They said that he wasn't present for 10 years. So whilst negotiating, we decided, okay, we'll take five years. They said, okay, we can, we can only agree for five years from 1985 onwards. We said, okay. And then this, and then we were still denied his pension benefits. And then the second argument was that he didn't die an honorable death. So my mom started crying. Uh, it was it was a uh, it wasn't an open co court case. It was with uh, Judge Kabina Jenner. Kabina Jenner. It was it was Chambers. It was yeah, a conference. It, conference. Yeah, 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 with it was us. Uh, Counsel uh, Michael Wilkins. Ma, ma, yeah, ma, uh, uh, Wilkins, right? Yes, yeah, that's Wilkins him. That's right. him. He was there. He was the one that was saying it, and representing the government. And so I think he it got to a point. Yeah, my mom was really really upset. Even the finance people were there. The finance people was like, you know, it's too much. The finance people had the check ready to pay us all the back pension but it was the government that was saying no so it was so it was it was it was really funny looking at the two dichotomy you know the lawyer saying this and the finance department i think it was connor at that time was saying no we have to give her the benefits long story short after five years of going back and forth my mom did get a portion of it but she didn't get the benefit she didn't get all the entitlements with it you know so but the but we thank god because we all have great jobs so we're able to support her you know, were able to really give her a decent life. But what she's saying is that she worked hard, you know. As a former first lady, and I was asking her mom, what does what did all your job entails? And she said that 1980, when she when uh, my father took over, he said to her, he said, Nancy, look, a lot of people want to come and see me, but they won't be able to. I need you to be the gateway to everyone, to the market people. Anyone outside the street should be able to make a, a appointment with you. So when you go to my mom's office, I mean, it was on the seventh floor, right? Fifth I mean, floor. fifth floor. You could see the list of the walk. It was like a, just a walking of people because he had given her authority that whatever recommendation she sent, BA scholarship, health insurance, uh, school fees, whatever it is, uh, projects. People will come with so many projects that she was just to send that recommendation. And as a president, he told the other ministries they had to honor it because she was helping the the the, the uh the ordinary people. Okay. Omar, oh, you the time you were friend lady, you and the Liberian women there, your mm -hmm. friend, you have your women crew, they used to come to you, you used to help them, or the yeah. Liberian women group? Oh, we are very, very friendly. We used to play four balls, eh? oh, We used to goodness. get uh, Kananta. We used to get Kananta. We play four ball game. Ask her who won. So, <laughs> <laughs> to the Atomic uh, Stadium. We used to play football there. Our husband then used to come watching us. <laughs> so, sometimes you can go in our market. What a name in, what a boy your name, you can go there sometimes. Yes, it oh, I yeah. want to be the market. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I talk about Nana, you can go there sometimes. No, I, don't, I used to go there before, but now the, the OA, my mm -hmm. knee hurting now, so I, I don't even to clean right. there. Oh. So let's open the Lama and listen mm -hmm. to people. This is OK FM, the OK Morning Rush. We extended this edition because of management's mandate. We will see former First Lady Mrs. Nancy B. Do. I will not remember all that B. You forgive me. I will back away. <laughs> and uh, somebody sent me text. So one member of the PRC wanted to call. One Jerry, somebody. You call, I will take you. Uh, but please, those outside the country, our number is on Facebook. You can call us. Let's talk to the former First Lady. You're, you're hearing her and her children. She is begging President George Weir. She said, 
I can't talk politics. And I didn't call her here for politics either. She's saying, President, I beg you, Papa, you my son. Give me my benefit, what belong to me. She said, chatting up, bro, all the war you do, all the party. Mm -hmm. But at least when you just send for me, I can't hear, we sit down, we talk. He used to pay my hotel bill. She said she didn't even get a car and her full heading now. All I want. Hello? Yeah. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. Uh, I want to say thank you for the interview this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is U.S. Gay. Um, do, uh, Sister Mami and Kathy, I'm the president of the young people here in Monovia. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to take the time to thank you, uh, Mother Do, for that Senate uh, explanation to the Latvian people. I think, mm -hmm. President, we are your son. Uh, what I need, what I want you to do is to you and Mami and Dion and Lou and Kathy to, con to uh, continue to engage so that you can have face to face discussion with him so that your property, your benefit can be given to, him, to you. It would be unfair as a first. Former lady in this uh, republic, the indigenous former lady in the republic, to be the one of benefit or to present. All right, thank you. Mom Rose Baker, go ahead. Yes, man, I see. Clara, thank you so much, our oh, man. Thank you. Man, I say hello. How are you? Ah, I your dollar, my road, our road, our carpet, and so my white coming on. Oh, wow. How are you? Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. Wow. Lord, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't be with a little yet. I'm a fine child. I can't really for you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, child, for the old man, man. Mommy, you're all right. Yeah, yeah we're all right. Thank you. I'm happy to hear you today, man. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, yeah, thank yeah. you. I know the president hearing you. Okay. You will do something for you, mama. Okay. Yeah, patient. Yeah, be patient, yeah. All right. Don't mind, don't mind people. Don't mind people that your son. Okay. Thank you so much. I will come find you. I will come find you, Mama. All right. Me, I will go to the house to find her. Jeff, I will check out. She will not be me. I will not be certified. Hello. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. Yeah, this is Leo. I'm from Jordan. Uh-huh. I want to ask a Having this feeling that President Weir will call these people. Senator Darius Delon trying to get me. Let me get to this caller. I'll get to I'll get to you, Senator. I'll get to you. I don't know why I'm just having this feeling that President Weir will talk to the Omar. Hello? 
Hello, Clara. Yeah. Uh, good morning to our mother in there. This mm. is Achi Sano. Achi, go ahead, though. Uh, I could recall when I was very small, Joe divided candy on us. He had a white Honda. And uh, actually, uh, Joe issues, it, it makes me shed tears, especially when it comes to the story she's explaining, because this is the present that I used to like. That's why I was now I could record. Because I, I, when I was uh, 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 very, very small, I lived in Fiamma. And Joe used to use that route to go to Matari. In a white to do Honda. Sometimes we'll get ready, we stand on the road. So you all used to not be begging for toffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I used to do. I used to love Joe too much, actually. Uh, but I, I listened to the story and the two the woman, two daughters in there talking about uh, of, uh, uh, Thomas G. Kwampa. Uh, calling him uncle, our mother also talk about him. I, I, I know that Joe and Kwampa's story was just something that came up with party things, gossip that broke the friendship. Actually, I, I was wishing to, to hear that story. But on the other hand, when I, 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 you know, the, the Omar and myself talk some specific things. I don't want to dig yeah, okay. ones. You don't want to go yeah, into yeah, some specific the, the, the benefit issue, yeah. as you may mention, she's a form of great gratitude. Okay. I hope President Weah will see reason to emulate Taylor's example as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me take Frank Gibson from Paris, France. Uh, Frank, hold it, Frank, hold it on, Frank. I'm, I'm in, I'm in the, I'm in the midst of four telephones, and uh, sometimes it's become almost, it becomes almost impossible. But yeah, Frank, Frank is back. Uh, do I have Frank? I'm not taking anybody until I can take Frank. Uh, Frank is trying to join us. Uh, Frank. Friend, let me just be taking the guys on the ground. Uh, should I get you? I will take you. Trust me. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, my name is Avin Dana and I call for you and Ra. Okay. Yeah, let me commend the sister in studio along with the Omar. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoy the elaboration. Mm -hmm. I think I will tell God to give her a list of a, a president by sending a, a case out to go and left there and come right by the day. Who can have them off? I really admire any money that they spoke well. They spoke well, that's why people know that the Omar got children are taking her up. So let her keep courage. We know that President we have a uh, 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 call for her. We pray God for us so that President we have a call for her. Thank you. Yeah, any Liberian, including myself, who wish that the President calls her. Uh, let's talk to... I'm trying to talk to Senator DeLong because he was trying to join me. Omar Brant, go ahead. Yeah, thank you for Clara and Levitin. The old man, she spoke well, the two daughters, they always spoke well. You know, there's a plan, the lady has spoke. They call it Pepe, but you, you were pronouncing it like Pepe. Okay. Pepe means small, small. Okay. You cry, yes, yeah, small, small. So I think mean, she did what she was remembering, you know. But, but Clarice, let me, let me think that so much, because it goes sometimes you do something, even if you have somebody in rivalry. And the person do good things, try to remember those good things. And I think the what she did. And it was good that she didn't go in detail your know, pre discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah because sometimes you we, can't we, ag we agree on specific things. No, you are in general, you are in general, and the way you take it the whole discussion. Thank you so much. Let them continue to push on. Uh, but we are listening to them. I'm sure he will do what he's supposed to do. Thank you so much. Yeah, mine, sir, have the feeling that president jo yeah just leave it long let me talk to nima county representative samuel koga uh, representative koga go ahead yeah good morning clarence good morning and good morning to my mother and sisters good morning, good morning. yeah uh, well i want to say thank god and also for your meetings you know when something happens and you tell the public the actual story it's better for the uh, president Taylor to have even called you. It sounds so rare, but uh, thank you ever so much for that narration. But I'm your son, you don't know me at the time. Your, pres uh, your husband was president. We were kid. We used to John War Bow at uh, ATL where they had a car. Well, the army school be beating or finding me to go see the president when he on the football field. Mm -hmm. So that you know, we admire him a lot. I will remember you when uh, you build a market, uh, market in the West 
down. So uh, as mother, I know your children are grown up and they are, they are fully capacitated financially or whatsoever based on your level of qualification. But as a mother, to see blessing from you, I have $200 to give it to you as a mother to see blessing from you because you are a former first lady of the Republic of Liberia. So uh, I will be at the Capitol building. My number, uh, Clarence will share my number with uh, you. I will, give her no I will give your number right after the show. Thank you. Very good. So that as soon as you finish your call, then uh, I will locate you. I will locate you. Just tell me where you will be. That will come to you, ma. Re 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 Representative Kuga, I, I don't you. know whether you're around the Capitol building, but if you were around the Capitol building, it would be a good thing that you just drive to OKFM OK right now. What do you think about that? Yeah, I would have done so, but I'm somewhere around uh, Camden Junction for now. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. They will, they will call you right after the show. I, I, in fact, what we'll do after the show, I will call you on my number, and then you talk to the Omar right away. Okay. Yeah, 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 $200. Thank you. I it's mean, the thank you. That counts. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. Yeah, uh, thank you. Another call is coming. Representative Koga, yeah, call your phone off. Senator Darius Delon. Senator, I miss you again. <laughs> Senator Delon, you really want to talk. I'm just missing you. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me see. Let me, let, let me see. I don't, I don't know. I, I miss you. Uh, and, and any lawmaker can call. I will give you preference. I will give you preference. Uh, I will give you preference. Uh, uh, okay, all right. I think I got Darius Delon. I don't know. Uh, Senator Delon, do I have you? Hello? Good morning. Good morning, Senator Delon. Go ahead. Good morning to Morris Nelson Doe. Morning. Yeah. Look, um, yeah. The mother spoke like a mother. She has a story to tell. She told her story. It's emotional. It's actually. I just want to say thank you to the girl for Mother Nessa Doe. And I wish her well, along with her children. Mm -hmm. um, people should not be begging for what is legally entitled to them. We as government should try to pay these people's benefits. Mm -hmm. Well, people, <laughs> Mother Nessa Doe, I wish you well. I don't want to. Thank you. Thank you. I just wish you well, and I wish that the president of Nigeria will act the politics of the day, will call our mother, so that uh, she can have a comfort in her retirement. She served this country. She has told her story as a mother and as a wife. She told her story as first lady, and let us treat her as such. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator. Thank you. Senator Delon, thank you. I mean, get, I, I'm getting, this. these overseas calls are coming in, but then something will interrupt. I apologize to all of the guys from Australia, France, and America, but anytime I okay or call, I don't know what's going on here, man. Uh, I, I mean, I apologize. This is not deliberate. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. And good morning to the peace loving people of Liberia. Mm -hmm. My name is Opi O'Neill Johnson, and I joined the conversation from the headquarters of the Veterans Green Joe Committee this morning. Mm -hmm. Well, I listened to the woman in Australia, and I think Clarence, and I am very hopeful, and I'm very optimistic that this president is a listening president. This president's attention will not be joined to them. And right after the conversation here, we ourselves, as national advocates in this country, we will also help to flag in the issue so that the president we are will not adequately address the concern in order to move this country forward. Thank you very much for the time. All right. Thank you. I will take two more calls and then I'll go back to my door. Hello? 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 Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Clarence. Let me say thanks to my mother. Mm -hmm. uh, to my sister. Yeah. Uh, 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 for the massive work of Dr. Apple, we are calling the president. Let the president be a cautious man as president. Let the president.
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, all of us are appealing to President George Weah now. Finally, let me take former Bon County Representative George Moluba. Uh, representative Moluba, once a representative, is always a representative. Go ahead. Yeah, good morning, uh, Mr. Doer and the children. Yeah. Uh, we, I'm listening to the lady, uh, Mr. Omar, and one thing she did was, and I heard part of this morning is to reference the concept of the former president, Chan Silla. Mm -hmm. We think that, uh, to acknowledge that, that what, uh, President Killer did for her is a clear sign of reconciliation. And we think it is the behoove of the current president to, uh, to give me that example. You know, when you serve today, you must, you must uh, think that there will be tomorrow. So I, I want to appreciate for acknowledging that I also am I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic that the current president is the, is the humanitarian by crime who is this to go and then make me a thought that it belongs to all. Thank you. Let me, this is the final call now, the head of the Small Arms Commission, Maxwell Grisby. Go ahead, sir. Good, good morning, Clarence, and good morning to Mother Nestle. Good morning, Maxwell. Good morning to our sister from the South, his mommy and, and Kashi, you say? Good yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. We, we, we want to thank you. Oh, Maxwell, are you there? Wow. Lux, Maxwell, Maxwell, sorry. They, they, they bought from Grand Jida in America. Really want to reach me every time. Chey, man. Chey. Okay. Okay. Zana, Chey, are you there, man? Yeah, I'm here, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Chey, how can say sorry in crown? I won't say it, but I ain't gonna. <laughs> Chey, Chey, I'm so sorry. Mommy and, and Kathy, let's come right back to you. Just yeah. in two seconds' time, then we'll end over the whole man. What's your final message for reconciliation in mm -hmm. Liberia? Being the children of the former president, like mm -hmm. I said, I don't like us going back to bad wars mm -hmm. and history. Who did it? Who? Uh, yeah. What's What's your messages? You know, for reconciliation in Liberia. Let me start with you, Mama Baby. Then we'll go to Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, as you can see here, my mother is one of the most graceful people that I know and she didn't raise us on hatred and resentment and that's why we're able to move forward and um, although the loss of my father was devastating for us it was devastating for the entire nation we all lost people um, we uh, many of us was orphaned so I think that we have to stay optimistic with everything that's going on, Liberia, we're Liberians, sometimes we can, you know, be frisky to each other, <laughs> but we're so resilient. We're very resilient people through the war, through Ebola, now Corona, and um, even the economic struggles the country is facing with the rest of the world. We're so strong. We're very, very resilient people, and I want us, I want to feel the way how I feel when you go into a market in Ghana and you see how those Ghanaians embrace each other and they love each other. That's how I want to feel in Liberia. That's how I want us to, to treat each other. Um, and, and, you know, because we all, what we have, we are what we have. We all have the same story. Mm -hmm. And we all were, um, most of us had to grow up in exile. We don't want our children to have that same fate. Yeah, yeah. That's it for you, mommy. Yeah, so I, I agree everything with all, what my sister and my mom have said. Um, I think we just need to learn from our experiences because you really only truly learn stuff um, through challenges and hard times. So I think we should take all our challenges as opportunities to be better people. And the fact that we have gone through challenges and so many people have, we should use it as an opportunity to you know, to help other people because you know what you've been through, you know how, how life has dealt you, but you still have breath, you know? So many people didn't make it today. So many people didn't make it during the war. I mean, good people. And so we just need to make a difference. We need to, to strive to have unity. unity, really, you know? You know, whenever there's unity, when there's peace. Mm -hmm. You know, which my mom keeps off my justice. When you have a foundation of justice, you have real lasting peace, you know? Sometimes things are just superficial, but sometimes you have to fake it until you make it, you know? So um, we thank you so much for all the calls, all the love you sent us. Um, 
we are so grateful. We're so happy to be Liberians because this is only the only country we really, really truly have at the end of the day. It's our home. It's our home. And um, we just thank you guys for everything. Um, we just thank God for life. And we're just so grateful to be here, really. Hmm. Yeah. Omar, hmm. let's come to you now. Well, you know, the other question I'm coming ask you, hmm. that one, that final question now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, we're not allowed to talk about the war business. No. You can remember the last interaction between you and Omer Samuel before the thing could happen to him? They turned the war on because you were still here with him, Mofio. Yeah. You remember the last time you ever talked before the thing happened to him? You remember? If you can remember, we just end it, no problem. If you can remember, yes, I want to know. What are you Last time the what? The last time the thing happened before he died. It Let me put it that way. The last thing you thought, the last thing, the last thing you can remember before, before, before he died, before the thing happened to him. Before war or before no, during the war, the last day before he died, uh, before he went or where the whole so and he not come back. You remember your thought anything? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you remember? Well, that time I was in England before mm-hmm. I left from here, June. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last time we talked, I told him to leave the town. He said, "Nessie." What they will leave my people at eh, the Marshall Park. So you pray for me. Okay, that was the last talk. Yeah. All yeah, right. So what your final message to the whole country now? Like I said, they, they peace, 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 peace. In this whole country, they Liberia. What I want to say to them, you know, we we must be united. If you know, well, they pee somewhere, you know, the best people, they will come and go. Yeah. But the confusion, the person say, or oh, that person say, or oh, the confusion in the country, that the country, it will be poor mm-hmm. all the time because we are not united and every day, flower, flower, confusion. And the best people will run away. So it don't go like that. So I feel it to Liberia. Everybody must calm down and save the country. Like, brother, all of our room will not get nowhere to go. Hmm. So I feed into them. Uh, they must start me, yo, yo. Uh, Thank oh, you. They want to be in the bar, break it down. Oh, <laughs> what are your hobbies? What do you like doing? You like swimming, you like to go fishing, <laughs> you like making fun. What, what do you like doing? <laughs> now, my son, I will own you old. <laughs> I eat the seven day alone, oh yeah. No, you stay young. Uh, what do you like doing? Oh, now I like to play Lulu and play Chevo anyway. Uh, I say I can be in Chevo. It's a not me, I'm going to my house. I will find a place. But normally, the uh, time you are strong, you are fairly that what do you were like doing? Oh, uh, well, you know me, I get hired to let my husband. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't tell. Uh, Advantage. You can't take it. Anybody want to take uh, advantage? Well, you can't take it. Yeah, I can't take when it. I say, what you let do you mean? The time you were fighting, mm. you let you let win anything football game. You let go swing. You let you let playing Lulu. That what did you let? You were let. Oh, I was first Lele. You know, I was my friend all the time. They around me. I couldn't move. So I can wife for but I can wife for but but I not me. I let Rasi. Oh, uh-huh. you not got a meeting now. <laughs> you love wrestling. Wrestling, I love wrestling. Okay. Yeah. Omar, mm-hmm. thank you for coming this morning. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I tell you, you you hear one hour, ten minutes, we just talking, talking, talking. <laughs> Yeah, well, that one or ten minutes you wow. spend your woman. Wow. You get anything to say, maybe you want to say hey, in crown to the crown people so for Mama. peace now, reconciliation, so that we can put everything behind. You must speak crown. You, 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 you want speak crown some more? I will give you the chance, Omar. You want to talk some more crown talking? I can talk crown. Oh. Wow. I, oh. I want to say thank you to. No, speak, Omar, speak talking crown. Oh, Jean, you want to buy a chair, money? I quibble here, more for a truck, more for a set. I want to start to yarn one in you. One point throw a poek we I'm buying the poek we they declare we are not buying you so I'm going to drop more set trouble in for you so I'm going to drop so you thank you so much you're doing well you're doing well for my my husband start to watch your face in America GGA yeah GGA GGA oh they they grant people yes they're feeling starting for the woman yes yeah. Oh. yeah. 
So I thank them plenty. Yeah. To support. I say them. I don't get one cent to get them, but call will tell them thank you. The all of camp people like in Liberia, you want to tell them something so we can be peaceful. All of them are living. They must not get fair. No ballet mon guy. No, you're no talking. Ballet... Oh, my, you're talking in the crown. Ah. Uh, mm, sorry. To swear through. To swear through. Mm hmm. No thug. Where? I'm a grand jelly. You're not bad here. When you're through, you're just here. More bandy. I'm a star. I'm a jelly. No, no, no. You're that. You're just a boy. No, no, no. Go. It's a jelly. Jelly, no. Can a one day. A one day. Jay, you cry, I clown up by Mola and a confusion year now. I clown about a dear Sacqua, I am when I am we. So you take Jay, a mason way. Monsignor Bon, Senor Jay, Bon, and said all low, as if fonden. So may one wear a more, a more, a more, a more champ bar or a more than no can, and as it don't know how we can, as it don't say, read your demon to say, I ain't so I'm buying here. The flower is here. Much here. I need your work back. Okay. Mommy says you want to one last. Just one last thing. I just want to let everyone know that um, actually I'm a part of this fantastic organization. It is the um, what is it called? It's the movement of uh, it's the indigenous movement of Liberia, and they're all about the rights of Liberia, making sure that we know that we have our rights, our resources, our lands, you know, so that other people and other things cannot take advantage of us in our country. So there's awareness that we're that is um, being launched in Banga, um, the 9th of August this Sunday. I'll be there from 12 to 4. So anyone is in Banga that time, we're gonna be meeting at the administration building. Okay. Yeah. All right. My Nessa Doe and Kathy and Mami, they've been our guests. Wonderful people. Listen to me, I'll surprise the woman if you are going there and take on her in check up. Let, let her try me. <laughs> Thanks to the Liberian people in and outside the country. Thanks to all of you for listening. This is what we owe to this country. My name is Clarence Jackson. Thanks also to the management for the opportunity to extend the show. Duda Red has always been here with me. I'm out of here. Bye bye. That's what tomorrow morning, another edition of the OK Morning Rush comes on. But until that time, the crown people say, good morning.